guys it's nokia from nokia.com and today i'll be doing an experiment with the iphone 10's face id to determine if face id works with a black charcoal face mask on but first let me do a not so quick unboxing and first impression of the iphone 10. So here we have the box, pretty much the same size as the iPhone 6. I don't know why the box is a little dirty, I later found a T-Mobile SIM in the tray which pretty much explains that. Anyway, inside the box you have some greeting card from Apple and stickers, underneath that you have the iPhone 10 smartphone. You have the standard charger, the earphones, an Apple Lightning to 3.5mm headphone jack adapter and lastly the Apple Lightning USB cable. So now, looking at the device for the first time, it's gorgeous, glass everywhere, the front houses the Face ID technology and its infamous notch and nearly all of the front is the 5.8 OLED Full HD display. The notch also houses a 7 megapixel true depth camera which is compatible with portrait mode. No flash or notification LED. On the back, you have two 12 megapixel wide angle and telephoto cameras. The wide angle is an f1.8 aperture and the telephoto is an f2.4 aperture with quad flash. It has an optical zoom and a digital zoom up to 10 times. Both of these lenses have optical image stabilization. On the left side, you have the mute switch and volume rocker keys. On the right, you have the big power button. On the bottom, you have stereo speakers, and one of the grills is actually just for aesthetics, and the lightning USB port. On the top, you have nothing. The iPhone X is powered by a Bionic A11 chipset, and aside from the design changes, you also have to adjust to the new bezel-less form factor, which comes with a couple of new gestures. Swipe from the top right to get to your control center, swipe from the top middle or top left to get to your notification tray, swipe up to get to your home screen, swipe from the bottom and then to the right to see running apps, touch and hold running app slides and then touch the red bars to delete or swipe the slides up to delete running apps. The front camera also comes with some nice nifty features like the portrait mode which comes with different lightning, it's still not very accurate so maybe stick to the back camera for your portrait shots. As for animojis, it took me all of 2 seconds to get over it and it's really not worth getting into. The display is such a beauty to behold and I do not mind the notch at all. I notice it all the time but I do not mind it. I also applied a glass print protector on the display which was frustrating at first because of all the bubbles it had but after a day or two nearly all the bubbles were nowhere to be found. Of course I watched a lot of videos about glass screen protectors for the iPhone X and got to know that even the most expensive ones and the cheapest ones leave bubbles. However, no one said anything about the bubbles disappearing on its own. So here's how I applied that screen protector and what it looked like. Yeah, we have the iPhone X and we have the 3D glass, so we're applying it.
specs. The front and the back of the $1,000 iPhone 10 are entirely made of glass, so you might want to get a case for it. The battery life seems to be slightly better than the iPhone 6 Plus, which gets me nearly a full day of medium usage. So now onto the Face ID. Face ID is very easy to set up. Now many may be wondering if Face ID would work with makeup on. The answer is yes and no, because sometimes makeup covers the essential markers of your face and you won't be able to open your phone with Face ID. But now my experiment is for the situation where you are the power with some face mask on so now let's see if face id will actually detect my face while wearing a black face mask in the following footage so i do have a face mask on right now and i want to test if the iphone can actually unlock with my face mask it's not even dry yet or anything like that it's still very very wet and i can still see the contours on my face but right now i'm going to try to unlock this device with the face mask okay so So no, it's actually not recognizing it. So let's try that again. So you can see that the logo is just like, it's just, <laughs> so yeah, the iPhone is not unlocking like, unlocking so yeah I had to so yeah the iPhone does not recognize my face that's my face but now actually okay so I can't even so yeah um but this is what I have on. I have a black face mask on right now. That will be all for this experiment. Do leave a comment to let me know what phone you would like me to compare with iPhone 10, and please subscribe to support my channel. Till next time, guys, peace.